forgot that part. Y'all know that? She got a whole GoFundMe trying to get up money so she can quote unquote recover. This a whole scam. This a whole scam. If a man had jumped in and took up for her and got a brick upside his head, do you think she would even so much as send him a get well card in the hospital? No. Because what do she spit all day? Misandry and feminism about how she can't stand men. And women are the innate planners and protectors of the community. I've never heard so much foolishness in my life. This is why all of that, all of that kind of rhetoric from Prince Song down to CNG and whoever else agree with it. Talking about what, how women supposed to be in charge and stuff and how we supposed to be running stuff. You couldn't even protect yourself from getting a pumpkin. You didn't even have sense enough to get out that man's face, especially when he picked up something. You gonna hit me, y'all. You had time to stand there and accuse the men and let him hit you instead of leaving the area so that he couldn't attack you. Get it? Get it? But whatever it is you doing and get on up out of there, get out that man's face. Same thing with study running your mouth. Getting them little fish and chicken wings was not that serious. Learn how to de-escalate a situation, shut your mouth and go ahead on somewhere. Especially if you're dealing with somebody you think might be unstable. But she was real comfortable raising her voice at them men. So you still talking smack to men. Just got popped upside the head, still ain't learned nothing. And a man's supposed to jump out the window for you. That's why you random men don't protect random women. I don't know what's going on with you. Because the minute he jump in, he see some woman get whooped down. He jump in, try to save her. She'll turn her hand on. Oh, really? It'll come out that that's her man. They do this every Saturday night. That's why men don't pay no mind to it. They see a woman getting hit and they feel some type of way. But at the same time, it's like, how far am I supposed to take this? Because I don't know her. And I don't know what situation preceded that. Y'all have taken the covering off of y'all self. By being out here, being hyenas, and not being feminine women. You so masculine. Our women should be in charge, so let it be an end. You should have put your dukes up and let her handle your business. Handle your business since women are the innate providers and protectors of the community. Handle your business. How is it that you need protection from the very men that you claim not to like and they oppressing you with the patriarchy? How you need him? You should need him to come through and do nothing. Didn't want to sit around and turn it around like it was American black man had nothing to do with that. And she was able to spin it like that because that's the narrative that's been going on about our men anyway. That's not the narrative about her men. So she, she wouldn't have got no traction had she said, my Somalian brothers would not help me. She wouldn't have got no traction like she didn't get. And like I said, they, they came out and said, why? Well, he wasn't trying to hide that he didn't do that. I wouldn't, if it happened again, I wouldn't do it, do nothing. He wasn't feeling no way. That young man wasn't feeling no way. I'm leaving to the devices again. Because you run around here playing stupid games and you win stupid prizes. I'm not jumping in front of nothing. I'm not catching no case. She not going to help you pay no court fees. She not going to bail you out on bond. She not going to visit you in the hospital. She ain't even so much going to open her mouth and say thank you to you on the spot if you fight for her. She going to go back to tip and act a fool like a man ain't never helped her. Because that's what these chicks do anyway. A man that helped you everywhere you done went. And then you got the audacity to turn around and talk about what a man ain't did. And how you don't need him. When you standing on his shoulders. And as soon as a man pop up in your face to square up on you, now you a woman. Now you, where the men at? They in the same place you put them. When you said you didn't need them, they over there. That's where they at. They over there. In the peanut gallery looking. Cause you don't get to you don't get to put that energy out and it not come back. You're not above the law. The feminine women that always get protection, the reason why we always get protection, even from men that don't know us from nowhere, the reason why we always get that protection is because that's the energy we put out anyway. We put out a feminine energy anyway. We don't put out a misandrous energy or oh, I hate men, blah, 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 blah. We don't even put that energy out. So therefore, that's not the energy that we receive. So when we go places, men can feel that. That's why a lion always come through for a lion. Even if we're not his lioness. Because the feminine women I know have never said they don't get protection from men. They've never said that. It's always been the opposite. Well, I get plenty of protection. I get plenty of help. Or at least the offer for help. At least the offer for protection. At least the energy be there. That's because how we move. Only hyenas get into these types of confrontations.
because feminine women do not even get into confrontations in the first place. And if something is cropping up and we like, oh, I don't, don't want to be a part of that. We make our exit. We be looking for the first exit because this is getting out of hand. You know what? I'm not. My name is Hess. I am not in that mess. I, listen, let me go back to my car. Let me go back home. I told y'all grew up in Chicago that they, they got all kind of stories about you know how rough Chicago is and Chicago can be rough depending on where you go and in them rough neighborhoods I have not had a problem I ain't never had no random man hit me swing on me square up at me just a man I don't know now they get a little stupid you know when you're young and they hey baby what's your number I don't want to give you my man well if you then you know they'll do that little and then be the grimiest Negroes, them be the real, real grind. Them don't be the men with respect for themselves. But they didn't attack you. They said that little crap as you walking away. Nobody care about that. And as a feminine woman, I'm not gonna get that no energy. No way. I'm not gonna stop. Who you talking to? And how do we talking to? Keep going. Keep going. Me mind. Because I'm not trying to get into no confrontation with a random man. I don't know what he's gonna do. He already acting stupid because I told him no. So why would I stop and argue with this same fool? He already proven to me. Why I shouldn't talk to him. So I'm not going to.